Gallon. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Davis tells two news she never meant to hurt the dogs. Holly Samuels is live with the story you'll see only on two. Holly? Officials here at the Resource Center have been searching for her, and tonight Connie Davis comes forward. She says she wants to explain to her community why she made the decision that made so many shake their heads this week. I didn't let them off in the street or in a field with a bag of dog food and wish them luck. I put them where I knew they would be okay. Connie Davis admits that late Monday night she drove her five dogs to the Montgomery County Bark Park where they'd once gone to run and play and dropped them off. When someone found them the next morning and turned them in, officials said they showed signs of neglect. With temperatures soaring over 90 degrees each day, leaving dogs out in the sun is essentially the same thing as dropping in the middle of an interstate. Today, the story got even deeper. Investigators arrived at the Davis family's former home in Huber Heights, and what they found was appalling. The smell coming from the house, you, you can almost smell standing in the front yard. Davis admits the house and the dogs had gotten to be too much. She and her husband were divorcing and she lost her job last July. I got overwhelmed with life. I think we all did. Davis says after she moved to a small pet-free apartment, her husband was left to take care of the dogs in their Huber Heights home, but foreclosure was looming. Her husband called the Animal Resource Center about giving up the dogs, and he told her the cost would be $200, money she didn't have. Kumpf admits that all local agencies charge a surrender fee, but he says deals can be made. Many of those fees are able to be waived under certain circumstances if, if people have the opportunity to speak with a supervisor and come in and explain their situation. Davis says her husband tried to explain he was being foreclosed on. They asked if he could prove it. He said, I have the foreclosure papers in my hand. And her response was, I don't know what to tell you, sir. I asked Davis why she waited so long and essentially backed herself into a corner. She says, looking back, she should have given them up earlier, but her pets were like her kids, and she just was not ready to let go. She says there needs to be more options out there for people who come into situations like hers. Now, now she could face charges for neglecting those dogs. Reporting live in Dayton, Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.